It's no secret that CS2 has its gameplay issues, whether it's the insane peeker's advantage or other netcode related glitches making for a less than ideal experience. This has been a recurring theme since the game's launch, which is why we see this update. That first line is the most interesting one, which we'll get to right after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24 seven. You can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars, and there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. Imagine you're creating an application, or better yet, a script for CS2, and it doesn't work. Then you ask people to help you fix the issue, but you're only showing them what's wrong, not the script itself. Now it's obvious that something's wrong because we can all see it, but how is anyone supposed to help you fix the issue if you don't provide the script? So with this update, you can think of it as this stuff being that script. It's an oversimplification, but I think it makes my point pretty clear. What they really need instead of memes is network data and metrics to truly understand what's happening under. That's why they've added more info on your screen. And they probably decided to do it like this because, well, they can't trust us. Now, what does all this even mean? As always, we have the brightest detectives of the community to help with that, one of them being VisnaB88. So let's take a random example of me on deathmatch in probably one of my most charming positions, and let's look at the bottom. The first part is the game's build date and time. It's a timestamp of the version you're playing and for some reason Valve has more seconds on a minute than we do. But setting that aside, it's the information that follows that comes with the latest update. So let's start with V. No, you are not playing Cyberpunk. This refers to the type of server you are connected to. In my case, V stands for Valve Server. If I jump to one of my own retake servers in partnership with Xplay, link down below, you'll see an S here instead. S stands for Community Dedicated Server, L stands for Local Server, and X is simply none or not connected to any server. On the main screen, you'll notice an L. And no, this is not a personal attack against you, it's just that the game essentially treats you as if you are your own server. Alright, next we get to this. The first number, 8, is my ping in milliseconds. Lower means better. Now this number will mostly not match the ping that you see on the leaderboard. It's most likely updating at different times or using a different method of calculation. Whatever. Valve can make sense of it, and so we can just overlook it. The second and third numbers are inbound and outbound packet loss percentages. Inbound packet loss refers to data packets that are lost when coming from the server to your computer. Outbound is the other way around when data packets are lost going from your computer to the server. Best case here is that both are showing zero, which means zero packet loss, and that's a good thing. This next part is largely unknown at the moment, but if I had to guess, given the specifics about ping and packet loss, these numbers likely serve as performance metrics in relation to packets to better understand the quality of the network connection. Connection. I mean, it's more important that Valve are able to conclude something with it than us understanding it either way. But you're welcome to comment down below if you think you know the answer. Next part is this. These numbers are related to frame times. The first one, which you'll notice will often be around 15, represents the highest server frame time in milliseconds based on the last 128 server frames. If the number 15 seems familiar, it's likely because a 64 tick server updates every 15.6 milliseconds per tick. While the highest server frame time of 15 is not identical to the tick rate, it's a good indicator that generally hovers around the server's update interval when things are running smoothly. The last two numbers show the lowest and highest client frame time in milliseconds for the last 256 frames. You might wonder, why 256? Well, VisnaB88 came to this conclusion by changing the max FPS setting and timed how long it took for the metrics to update. So for example, with 256 frames, when they set FPS to 8, the minimum client frame time updated exactly after 32 seconds seconds. Do the math, 32 times 8, and that's 256. 256 is likely the window over which the game is checking your client's frame time, and 128 is the servers. It's not so important for us to know this, but it's still very interesting. Now for fun, let's take this example here where a player dies before seeing the enemy. Because of the latest update, we can now look at the information at the bottom. In fact, VisnaB88, through their thorough investigation, was already at the scene, concluded that this example is actually part of hard-coded game mechanics and it appears that Valve's forced interpolation settings could need some fine-tuning. Point is, if VisnaB88 could get to this conclusion, imagine what Valve can do. Peace.